Welcome back. A local CrossFit gym is relying on online engagement to keep their business alive. Local 5's Laurel Feeks has Black Collar CrossFit's story on surviving during the pandemic. It was a decision that both my business partner and I made on a Sunday night at 10 o'clock at night. Um, kind of saw the writing on the wall. Monday we came in, we had classes, we informed all of our membership that we were going to be shutting down for however long that we sent them home with at-home workouts and basically then just converted everything over to online. Once we were able to reopen and return, immediately protocols were sent out. We sent out protocols, I think, about two weeks ahead of our initial like predicted reopening. It's pretty much everything that the CDC has recommended. If you're not feeling well, even in the slightest, don't come in. Um, we require people to come in with a face mask on. Once they are in their station, we have all of our, um, all of our stations set up, then if they're comfortable enough, they are welcome to take their mask off. And the boxes are all spaced apart and it's kind of like stay in your lane type of thing. And we have placed the equipment in each one that is going to be utilized for a particular class. So whether it is our bikes or our barbells or our um, kettlebells or dumbbells, jump ropes, any of that stuff, we set it up for our membership. Every box has its own cleaning agent along with hand sanitizer. We know how much this means to people. We know how much having that 45 minutes to an hour of just being able to work out, we know how important that is for folks. I think that we're doing the best that we can with what we've got and we've been pretty fortunate. 